Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Charles Moore here reporting for TFG Sports. We have some breaking, some breaking news for you guys. I don't know when to cut co- it. It's breaking news and it's kind of sad, but it also likes it snap you back into reality, pretty much. Okay, so if you guys uh, do not know, I'm gonna let you know now. The Washington football team, uh, formerly known as the Washington, yeah, y- y- y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, the Washington football team has released quarterback Dwayne Haskins. Now, if you don't know who Dwayne Haskins is, I'm, I'm gonna break it down for you. Okay, there's Dwayne Haskins right there. He was he was picked uh, 19th overall. Oh, he was picked uh, 15th overall in the 2019 NFL Draft. I'm gonna say that once again. He was picked 15th overall. Okay, in the NFL Draft by the Washington Football Team. He's only 23 years old. Okay, he he went to Ohio State. Now look here. Okay, yeah, look. These are his um these are his stats for his career. Okay. It's not even been it's ain't been a full two years yet. He has 12 touchdowns and 14 interceptions. His passing yards per game is 201 yards. That's per game. His record as a starter is three and ten. Now he was fined uh this past week of forty thousand dollars for his second COVID uh nineteen violation. He was at a birthday party for his girlfriend at a strip club without no mask on, and at least at least uh, 10 people were present. And and the first violation he had, he tried to he tried to sneak somebody into the team hotel and he got caught. So yeah, this ain't Dwayne Haskins uh first time. So look, okay. Like people say like a black quarterback is on a shorter leash. Um, I agree with that, but Dwayne Haskins is like like he dug his own grave. First of all, okay, like the Redskins could have clinched like a playoff spot if they would have beat the Panthers on Sunday. They didn't win. Okay, Dwayne Haskins played horrible. He had three turnovers. He had two interceptions and a lost fumble. That's not good. And also, like to go out during COVID. Okay, look, the team like Alex Smith is a starting quarterback, but he's hurt. So the team only got like like one other quarterback besides uh, Dwayne Haskins. And to put your team in that situation, like you know COVID going on, to do that without wearing a mask, this your second time. It's your second violation. So like you got to learn from that. You got to do better than that. And then. Like the teams, like uh, like people like in the team would say, or the staff people would say, like he wasn't preparing how he needs. They wouldn't say hey, they would say he doesn't prepare like a starting quarterback. I need to prepare. Like he's not doing his film session. Like he'll come late and leave early. Okay, like we all know the quarterback position. You got to be the first one there and, and the last one to leave. Like Dwayne Haskins was not doing any of that. So like he dug his own grave. I'm not going for the black quarterback on a short lease thing. Yeah, like he got released. Like, you know, within two years, but I mean, he wasn't a he wasn't producing. That's one. He wasn't producing. B, he was playing horrible. And C, he was immature. Like this is the same person who took a selfie last year when the team was to get their first win and the game was still going on. That's Dwayne Haskins right there. Now, I get it. He's only 23. He's he's young. He got plenty of time to learn from mistakes. I hope he do. So also uh, we have some tweets. OK, so um, did you have a mentor? Not a good one. And the bad thing is, okay, y'all, y'all see Dwayne Haskins tweet right here. It says, my time with the Washington football team has unfortunately come to an end. I thank the team and the fans for the opportunity to play for the team. I grew up rooting for. I take full responsibility for not meeting it, for not meeting the standards of an NFL quarterback and will become a better man and a better and a better player because of this experience. So look, I mean, okay, so look, Dwayne Haskins got caught. Like, you know, with the mask incident and stuff like that at his girlfriend's birthday party. Like, look, he apologized. He addressed the team. He apologized to the team. That's great. That's the first step right there. You got to apologize first. But you got to play better. And he didn't play good on Sunday. Okay. Now, did he deserve to get cut? I don't think so. But like like, like we said early on in the year, Ron Rivera did not draft Dwayne Haskins. So, so therefore, he's not tied to Dwayne Haskins. So, but also, um, we got some tweets from other players. Okay, so Des Bryant tweeted out, uh, keep your head up. This will only make you stronger. You know, uh, RG3 also tweeted out, 2020 is hindsight. Pretty much, you tweeted pretty much. And RG3 of the Baltimore Ravens uh, messed up with the money. Lamar, he got it. You know, he got his guaranteed money. But after that, uh, he wasn't going to get resigned away. Only two years left on his contract. He had like $5 million left on his contract anyway. So it's okay. Um, RJ3, also of the Baltimore Ravens, a teammate of Dez Bryant, also tweeted out, uh, uh, wishing, wishing you the best. You're only 23 years old. Like, you have a, you know, you have a lot to look forward to in life. 
you know, you're going to bounce back from this pretty much. And also uh, Geno Smith, uh, backup quarterback of the Seattle Seahawks. I, I, I like his tweet better. His tweet said, uh, Geno Smith, uh, the Seattle Seahawks, uh, backup quarterback, his tweet said, uh, judge a man, uh, judge a man by his progress, uh, not by his mistakes. So, like, I like that, like, better. But like I said, like Dad said, keep your head up. Are you only 23 years old? I allowed us to make you stronger. You will bounce back. RG3 of the Baltimore Ravens also wishing you the best of luck. Uh, are you, uh, you only 23? Keep your head up. I retired with the five million. Lamar, I mean, Lamar, you could, but it ain't the like it ain't the first contract you need. It is it, it, the second one that's gonna set you and your kids up for life. So look, this Dwayne has a problem. First of all, I'm not gonna totally blame him for this. Like Dwayne Haskins is from is from Washington. Like he's from that area, so he's drafted by his hometown team. And you know what that means with home with hometown team come home come hometown problems. Okay, he's from that area. He got friends. He grew, he went to high school with stuff like that. Like they all hanging around him. So like that's bad. And he's young too. So like he can't you know he don't let a couple people off. I'm guessing. So like he just made bad mistakes, man. Like in too many for the red, too many for the Washington football team. So I mean he gonna be all right. My final thought is, look, why did he get cut? He wasn't performing, and he wasn't mature enough. Did he deserve to get cut? I would say no, because Washington don't have an answer at quarterback. Alex Smith ain't the answer. Um, so, and the final thing is, where does Dwayne Haskins go from here? Hopefully up. I mean, he look, y'all, he's, he's only 23 years old. He's young. He got plenty of time to get his life together. That's what he said. He, he needed to get his life together after the after the loss of the Panthers on Sunday, he said, "Hopefully, he gets to get him. This to get him. This a wake up call for him. He can just like together. So hopefully, somebody will sign him after this. He don't like I said. He's only twenty three, man. His ceiling is very high. I had him rated as the second quarterback in the draft. I mean, I mean, Daniel Jones got drafted before he did, and Daniel Jones ain't that good. So like, he's only twenty three. Like, hopefully, a team like New England will pick him up because they ain't got no quarterback. They got Cam and Jerry Stidham. They ain't got nobody. So hopefully, like they can sign him." Like, I mean, like, uh, he'll clear waivers because ain't nobody going to pay that salary. But um, he'll clear waivers. He'll sign with somebody. Like, like I said, hopefully New England. Bill Belichick is a good coach. You got Cam there to be the mentor, at least for the remainder of the season. So, you know, you can be on the practice squad, you know, learn the plays and, and show everybody that you're a changed person. So, hopefully, 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 man, Dwayne has to get signed by somebody else. Because I think he will. It's just a matter of who. It's like it's all about it's all about, like, where you go. Like a lot of a lot of good coaches. Like ruin players before players are actually made uh, made great. Come on to Dallas, they like uh, misfits. The more uh, Dallas got one black quarterback, that's enough. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, but yeah, man, he's gonna be all right. He's only 23. Like I said, I would like to see him go to New England. You can be there with Cam. You got Bill Belichick. You got Josh McDaniels. Like they're gonna get you right. Okay, they're gonna get you right. So hopefully, get another opportunity. But thanks you guys for watching. Um, this has been the TFG Sports uh, breaking news. Once again, Dwayne Haskins released by the Redskins, the 15th overall pick in the 2019 draft. Good Lord. Mm -hmm. But anyway, he's going to be all right, y'all. Don't worry about it. He's going to be all right. He only 23, like I said. But um, once again, thank you guys for watching. This has been the TFG Sports update. Um, Charles, please subscribe to TFG The Media, and I'll keep you guys up to date when something else happens. Bye.